So we're looking at problem two from section 2.4. It states to find the indicated quantities for f of x equals 3x squared. Part A says to find the slope of the secant line through the points 1 comma f of 1 and 1 plus h comma f of 1 plus h, where h is not equal to 0. So let's start by evaluating those for the function f of x. So f of 1 would be 3 times 1 squared, which is 3, and f of 1 plus h would be 3 times 1 plus h squared, which when we FOIL gives us 1 plus 2h plus h squared, and then when we distribute to 3, gives us 3 plus 6h plus 3h squared. Now we can say the slope for the secant line is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And we're going to treat this as x1, y1, x2, y2. So I'm going to plug this in for my y2. And we're going to plug this in for our y1. And we're going to plug in 1 plus h for our x2 and 1 for our x1. And we can see the 3's cancel and the 1's cancel. And we're left with 6h plus 3h squared over h. We can factor h out from the numerator. And then that h cancels. And we're left with 6 plus 3h, and that is the answer to part A. Part B asks that we find the slope of the graph at a singular point. And that means we're talking about a tangent slope. And to find tangent slope, we need to use the derivative. So f prime of x gives us 6x. And f prime of 1 gives us 6 times 1. So the tangent slope equals 6. Part A was secant slope. We needed to use two points. Part B was tangent slope because we were only given one point. And now we can use the slope from part B to help us answer part C, which is to find the tangent line. So part C, we're going to write the equation of a line with slope equal to 6 through the point 1, 3. Because we already evaluated what f of x was at 1. We did that in part A, and we saw we got 3. So we have a point and a slope, and from here we can write a linear equation, y minus 3 equals 6 times x minus 1. There is our tangent slope. This is our x value, and this is our y value. And we're using the point-slope formula. And we can distribute this 6 through here add 3 to both sides to isolate the y. And this is our tangent line equation in slope-intercept form. And that's it to problem two.